Have you ever wondered if you're actually doing the transfers in QuickBooks Online properly? Well, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Adrena. I am the owner and accountant here at Accounting by Adrena. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how you do transfers in QuickBooks Online, as well as QuickBooks Self-Employed. Now, it's very important because if you are using your bank accounts connected to QuickBooks Online and you want to transfer cash from one account to the next, you want to make sure you're doing this exactly right. Otherwise, you risk double entry. Double entry is going to either overstate or under state your books, depending on which way the transaction is going. So stick around and let's jump right into it. All right. For this example, we're going to start in QuickBooks Online and you can just simply come over here to the banking tab and you can find all of the accounts that you have connected to QuickBooks Online. Now, if you are interested in other videos on how to use QuickBooks Online, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description box below so you can see all of my QuickBooks videos. But for this example, we're just going to have to pretend that we see the transactions because there's no uh, transfers that are showing up here in the banking tabs for any of these accounts. So for example, there are a couple of things that I want to make sure that you are completely aware of, completely clear on, because if you do not uh, do this correctly, there is the potential for a double entry. And I have seen this happen before. So it's something that you want to make sure you're completely uh, clear on managing. So for example, you have your checking account, your savings account, and your MasterCard account. They're all connected in to QuickBooks Online and all of the transactions are showing up here in the banking screen. Now, if there ever was a transaction that was a transfer from, let's say your checking account over here to your savings account, and let's say it was for $25, it's actually gonna show up in both the checking banking tab and the savings banking tab. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky because you wanna make sure that when you do see that $25 transfer show up, let's pretend this is the one, you wanna make sure that you click on record as transfer and then you would say it's transferred from your savings account. Now, once you do this, you click on add, you go over to your savings account and then it would show up here the same amount, the same date, except it would say one match found similar to how it says that here. You can go ahead and click on that um, one match found and then you'll see in the description what that trans uh, what that transfer was actually showing. So then you would come over here and click on match. Now, if you did not do that process properly and you went ahead and clicked on categorize and you entered it here, then it would show up as a double entry. It would show up as money going out and money coming in instead of a transfer from one account to the next account. Now, the reason why this is important is because we don't want your books to be understated or overstated by this um, transfer of cash. Now, really, this transfer of cash is uh, when we're talking in accounting terms, it's only shown on the balance sheet. It's not actually shown on your profit and loss statement because this is just a transaction of uh, cash management versus a transaction of um, impact to your profit and loss statement. Now, the same the same kind of theory applies when it comes to your credit card. So if you're transferring money or paying down your credit card from either your checking account or your savings account, the same theory applies. You are transferring cash from one account to the next. So this in accounting terms means it is a balance sheet transaction only. Now, again, this has no impact because it is a transfer of cash, it has no impact on your profit and loss statement. Now, what actually has an impact on your profit and loss statement are these transactions here. These are all expenses. This one looks like it's probably a return um, from an expense that was made. So these would be considered expenses. And these transactions here 
impact your profit and loss statement. Now, I just hope that's very, very clear um, with how to manage those transfers in QuickBooks. Now, another way that you can think in terms of transfers is if you are um, an owner of your account and you're cashing out into your personal account, um, again, that's going to be a transfer of cash. You can call that a transfer to owner. Um, and then that would be one way that you can manage those transactions. All right, let's move on to QuickBooks Self-Employed. All right, again, we're gonna be using the test drive version of QuickBooks Self-Employed for this example. Now, um, this is your home screen, so you would click on the Transactions tab on the left-hand side, and you would be managing your transfers a little bit differently than how we did on QuickBooks Online. Um, I think, to me, this is a little bit easier. However, this test drive version is still not updated and doesn't have like the specific categories for personal uh, um, for personal use. So um, we're going to kind of have to imagine again together. Now, this is an idea that you can you can do. So this says income Tyler. Now, if this was a transfer, you could say, you know, transfer to, to um, Tyler. And then over here, you could say personal. So this could be personal income, or you could say business. Um, and then that would show up as a transfer. Now, let's just say, for example, you have a, um, like it looks like there's a checking account, there's a credit card, and then um, I don't see a savings account listed on this one. But let's say what you're doing is paying down your credit card payment from your checking account. Um, when, when, when that shows up, you can actually use the transfer as a credit card payment. Um, sometimes you can put personal and then credit card payment here, but um, otherwise you could say transfer and then it says credit card payment here. So that's one way to do that there. And then if it is coming from one place to the other, you can also just say personal or business and then use the, um, where is it? Whoops use the transfer. So you would just type it in transfer and then it would show up as transfer. So it's a little bit easier to manage here in QuickBooks Self-Employed. And, and I like that it's kind of easier because a lot of the self-employed individuals are going to be using maybe a personal credit card or a business uh, checking account. Um, but this, this way, QuickBooks has a way to manage both of those. So you have the business side and you have the personal side. So that's really nice. I like that feature about uh, QuickBooks Self-Employed. All right. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below, and I will be monitoring those questions. And I will see you guys in my next video.